May your curiosities be broad. May your collaborations in work and life be with people from all backgrounds, all races, all gender identities. And may you all aspire to make the world a better place. How's everything going? Today is July 21st, 2020, which means today is the Global STEM Alliance Summit hosted by the New York Academy of Sciences. As you can see, I'm ready with my New York Academy of Sciences t-shirt and I'm really happy for this summit. This year it's gonna be totally different because of COVID-19 and pandemic, they had to do it virtual and it's gonna last just two hours, so it's gonna be kind of a scientific shot because normally it's about three days with different experiences, with different uh, activities. Today is just gonna be the president talking and some expositions of the winners of the challenges. And I wanted to share all of this experience with you because you've been so supportive with me uh, with all of the New Academy of Sciences videos. And I don't know, I think it's a really interesting experience, the first virtual summit ever. And that's it guys, so let's enjoy this video. never been a straight path. It is much more like a long and winding road, as the song goes. And the ones who make it down that road are not discouraged by occasional failure, for they always see failure as the key to future success not to our world. The very justified anger over police violence that rose up so quickly and forcefully after the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis in May. Now, the anger came with corresponding demands for an end to racism. Uh, we ourselves can begin to do our part, racism in the fields in which we've chosen to work, whatever they might be. And with that comes the corresponding recognition that diversity is not just a moral and ethical imperative. Diversity is critically important in pooling our intellectual resources as we address both day-to-day -day challenges in our workplaces, but also the complicated problems ahead of us, global warming, pollution, poverty, economic disparity, sickness and disease and of course, COVID-19. So let me wrap up by saying this. May your curiosities be broad. May your collaborations in work and life be with people from all backgrounds, all races, all gender identities. And may you all aspire to make the world a better place. So that one is the president of the New York Academy of Sciences. I think it's really cool. And he has a really interesting curriculum. I really think this one is a really interesting topic because of scientific communication right now during uh, quarantine and COVID-19 and everything what's going on that seems to be the end of the world but it isn't and we as part of the scientific community should be able to communicate correctly so I think this intervention is really really interesting. disorienting and distressing in some ways to to do something that's hard that you don't understand at first but when you have that feeling when you have that kind of sick feeling like I'm so confused I don't get this at all I don't understand that's a, a good sign that's a sign that you're pushing yourself now my favorite part of uh, the exposition of the challenges solutions and everything made by the junior academy participants my team didn't win uh, if you'd like to see our project please leave a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up and we'll make a video showing our, our project. Here's just a fragment of it. This year, the Junior Academy hosted four challenges asking students to design solutions for space exploration and colonization, intelligent homes that promote better health, cybersecurity related to the Internet of Things, and sustainable chains of transportation. In response to the current coronavirus pandemic, the Academy also hosted an open challenge calling on all students to develop solutions to combat the spread of COVID-19. In a matter of weeks, more than 2,000 students worked together to devise over 200 solutions. 
Solution, solutions to each of these challenges were judged by a panel of experts and scored based on their innovation, viability, and sustainability. We are very happy to have the winning teams here with us today to present their solutions. Was the scientific shot of the day, uh, the supervised uh, New York Academy of Sciences Summit. I think it was really cool, a different way of organizing things. Uh, remember, if you'd like to apply for New York Academy of Sciences, I made a video giving you some tips for it and also made a video showing you some of the amazing experiences of that. Thank you, New York Academy of Sciences. Hope you really enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and comment if you liked it. And that's it guys. See you next one. Thank you.